Hello all, and welcome to Wondershare eDraw. In this video, we'll learn about concept maps. Concept maps are graphical tools that are used to visualize significant relationships among concepts. Concept maps are also referred to as conceptual diagrams. What should a concept map include? 1. Identify the key concept or main topic. Think about the problem you want the concept map to resolve. This key concept should connect to all other concepts on your map and will direct the hierarchical structure. 2. Categorize all the general concepts that relate to the key concept you identified. Order them with the most general concepts first. This comes under Hierarchy 1 and followed by less general concepts and concepts. This comes under Hierarchy 2 and 3. 3. At the end comes the last layer which consists of examples. 4. Create an initial concept map linking the concepts together. Remember to add linking words on the lines to demonstrate how the concepts are related. 5. Add cross-links to connect concepts in different layers. 6. Continually revise your concept map as needed. Now let's see how to make a concept map. Step 1. Pick a topic. Step 2. Brainstorm the subtopic. Step 3. Connect the concept. Navigate to File. Click on New. Double-click on Write Map. Now we can change this right-facing map to bottom-facing by clicking the layout on the right side of the page. Enter the key concept and general concept. We can add less general concepts and concepts with the help of subtopics, but we'll do it in an easier way by selecting Brainstorming, which is found under the Advanced Home tab, and now start listing all the ideas you're aware of. You can use color coding to differentiate between them. Once you are done with listing all the ideas, you just need to drag and drop them to create the concept map. Just press Escape to exit brainstorming mode. Double-click to add linking words between the concepts. We're using floating topics here. Through the right side of the page, we can change the shape and font style. Here is the final concept map. Now let's export this to PDF format. Click on File and select Export. Click on PDF and save the file. This concept map example decodes the idea of electricity. It defines key fundamentals of electricity and also takes a step beyond electricity and explores the various sources of energy. Now let's see a few examples of concept maps. Here's a concept map in a course on grammar and writing. This is an electronic concept map. And here's a biosphere concept map. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMind videos. Please find the links in the description below to download eDrawMind or to try it online.